I condemn any election fraud, said Trump, speaking to reporters in the Oval Office, where he was asked about the North Carolina case, in which operatives for the Republican candidate illegally collected and altered or destroyed absentee ballots. In May 2017, the president set up a commission to investigate voter fraud, which disbanded less than a year later without issuing a report. It is unclear which case Trump was referring to when he cited a million fraudulent votes, but Politi Fact did debunk a Facebook rumor in November that 1.7 million people had voted illegally in California. A similar 2012 effort in Florida initially found 180,000 names on a list that ended up revised down to 198. Last year a Texas woman was given a five-year prison sentence for attempting to vote in the 2016 presidential election despite having been stricken from the rolls owing to a previous felony conviction. She cast a provisional ballot that was not counted. Trump had said nothing in public about the race in North Carolina's 9th, where an operative working for the Republican candidate has been accused of tampering with absentee ballots. There have been no criminal charges filed in the case but the state election board voted unanimously to throw out the results, in which the Republican, Mark Harris, was originally declared the winner by 905 votes. Harris's victory was never certified and he never took the seat. A new election has not yet been scheduled.